everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's kind of late, because that is January 20th right now, um, and it's like the middle of January, but I wanted to do a January TBR just to give you guys a rundown of what I'm reading this month. I did post some on my Instagram, I figure I need to do a video too, because then I'm going to be leaving reviews and so on. So... Uh, yeah, let's get into the January TBR. The first book on my list for the January TBR is Illuminate, The Illuminate Files by Kaufman and Kristoff. And The Illuminate Files is about two protagonists, Ezra and Mason, who is pretty much on the run with their family and their friends and everybody on their planet of Carinthia from a battle warship that's trying to kill them. Meanwhile, there is a virus outbreak on the ship that is threatening all their lives and they have to figure out exactly what's going on. They don't know what's going on because the people in charge of the captains and officials are lying to them, trying to keep away the truth, feeling that if they don't know the entire truth, then you know there won't be panic and outrage on the ship, so they're lying to them. And pretty much... Katie is like, I want to know the truth, no matter what it is, and I want to figure it out. And she hacks into all the systems to figure out exactly what the truth is. What she finds is probably not what uh, she wants to find, because it's much worse than she thought it would be. Eliminate Files. The next one on my list is Shatter Me. So, uh, Shatter Me is by Tereha Mafi. So, Shatter Me is about a girl. She's... 17. Um, she has some sort of ability that kills people whenever they touch her. My name is Juliet. Um, I just got through like the first five chapters, so I started reading this already. Um, it starts off pretty interesting, so I'm excited to get to the meat of the information. But all I know is her touch is fatal, um, and the establishment wants to use her as a weapon. Uh, but she has other plans because after you know always being locked up and not having freedom and always just being the outcast and the the hopeless sort of like helpless person she has a power that she can use to defend herself and help herself so she has you know other plans so excited to see where this one will go so that's uh, Shatter Me by Tara Massey. Three Dark Crowns so Three Dark Crowns um by Kendra Blake is about three queens who are born in a family, um, and they're supposed to possess sort of like different abilities. Pretty much only one of them can be crowned like queen. They will have to fight to the death to figure out which one will live and become queen of this land. So that's also that sounds super interesting. Um, I heard really good things about it, so cannot wait to see exactly what it's all about and um, really to dive into this. Glass Sword by Veronica Aviard. Um, I started this one also. I think I started all of these. I'm at chapter four for this one, um, and I read like the first part of Three Dark Crowns. But yeah, um, this was on my like December TBR, but I only got to read one book last month. So I'm going to try to do better this month and read a little bit more. Uh, Black Sword is the second book of the Red Queen um, series, which I really like. I read the Red Queen, really loved it. Um, and then this is just a follow-up. A mare is being hunted by Maven, who was supposed to be, who was once her betrothed. Um, and he went completely haywired. I don't know if you read Red Queen already. I don't want to leave too much information about that. I leave any spoilers, but he went haywire. And so she's going to run from him. You'll read Red Queen and you'll find out what went down. I'll read the book blurb for this one just to make sure I'm not giving away any spoilers because I tend to do that a lot. So if there's one thing Maribar knows, it's that she's different. Maribar's blood is red, the color of the common folks. But her silver ability, the power to control lightning, has turned her into a weapon that the royal court tries to control. The crown calls her an impossibility, a fake, but as she makes her escape from Maven the prince, the friend who betrayed her, Mare uncovers something startling. She is not the only one of her kind. 
Pursuant by Maven, now a vindictive king, Mare sets out to find and recruit other red and silver fighters to join in the struggle against her oppressors. But Mare finds herself on a deadly path at risk of becoming exactly the kind of monster she is trying to defeat. This one I'll also like to read of Fires and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. So I have chosen five books to read this month, already finished one, um, and started another one that I'll sort of shadow me that I'll probably end up reading in like two days if I focus. And then I just have to worry about the other three. I still have a full two weeks in the month left to go, so if anything, I'll definitely be able to do at least four. But I'll try my hardest to read all five. Um, I'm trying to balance this with writing and doing YouTube videos and everything else. So, uh, working, life, social life. But we'll see how that goes in January. Right? At the end of January, we'll see how all that comes together, see how much I'm able to balance and focus and do everything I need to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see future videos. I will leave links to my social media um, down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time when I post a new video. Bye.